What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And this is going to be an hour special. So to round off our last time, we have actually ended up in a position where we have, for once, um, a fairly robust front line against both um, East and West. So now we're going to have to choose what direction to go. And part of me is tempted to advance West to knock out um, the French because the French although do we get try get peace with them um, we may have to knock out the French um, just to try to secure one of our flanks even more because pushing on the Ottomans seems like it could actually be although I could fortify well, the trouble is with this area is there's a path down to the south here and there's also a path to the north so it's not a case of dropping a fort here and this area is safe they can just they can just uh go around it um okay my techs are advancing i'm gonna hit end turn it feels like making this sort of decision will be better with some cash alongside it because you obviously do want to fight against the Ottomans because they've caused us so much hassle we're not going to let them get away with it. But it's all about making sure we prioritise our targets. Ah, looks like here comes another Ottoman army. I think it might be advisable to save up for a few turns to start building some walls around places. And I do keep forgetting I've got Iceland. That might be a good idea, actually try drop some ships onto trade nodes. Although I am at war with the French and the Spanish, so... Oh yeah, Mexico's there. The Mughal Empire has Florida. But nothing else seems that different. The French have taken Curacao. Oh no, wait. I don't have I don't have Denmark. I'm thinking of another campaign. Come on, mouse. Okie dokie. So now one more turn till I get walls in Venice. Then we'll be able to hold these guys off with a much more of a skeleton crew than what we currently have. So much so I think this army will then go west and this army might go east and take up defensive positions in Venice. I think I go about building a classical university to help increase my rate of technology development and I definitely do need to start going down this artillery tech tree um, I think going for measuring tools would be good because it gives me the plus it gives me bonuses to town wealth across the board although I do need to get advanced improved grenades got new smiths being built in Savoy this guy's recruiting marines from somewhere. I think it's from Venice. Savoy has more, is now developed, or has recruited artillery. It's built an ordnance factory. Let's hit end turn. Because if I built walls around Venice, it would be quite easy to defend. And that would give me a strong chance to push west and take out some of the more conventional enemy powers. Especially if we take Paris, we've pretty much broken all of the French power. Because then they'll, they'll, they will just have Strasbourg. And then we can, we can destroy that in fairly short order. Or maybe even capture it on the way north. And then all the French colonies overseas fall into ruin and become new nations and so on. It's quite an advanced Prussian army, actually. Start trading with Prussia. So I'm, I'm not. I'm reluctant to save these because they'll just keep getting raided. Okay, so this force under Raphael Genovese. Well, actually, firstly, can these guys leave Turin? They can. 
Let's move them in range of Venice. You guys march west. Because, yeah, if I have to build forts, I either have to fortify. Ah, oh, Turin is complaining. Only one turn. One turn's worth of complaints. Okay, let's make sure we've got our main ports are upgraded. Build another fifth rate. Maybe two. Let's upgrade this iron workshop. Oh, damn. We also got Venice's school as well. Verona. Oh, no, we built one, sorry. Um... So you go for improved grenades. Eh, no, your job is to secure the town. Awesome. So I might upgrade Verona, but I want to build up a, a bit of a war chest. Because if my army is going to be marching west, they're going to take attrition. Eh, I've got road. I've got walls. I'm not afraid. I might have slightly too many foot artillery pieces. I may I may want more infantry or howitzers. Definitely not mortars. Um, I suppose that might be Verona's objective is to unlock 12 pounder howitzers. And I may start to trickle in a bit more infantry. Yep, so I've always Striking. Don't worry. Peace out. Let's upgrade the college. She's got four artillery pieces, and that's a lot for a city defence. And three cavalry as well. It's got unit marines and unit of line infantry. Maybe two units of line infantry. There we go. Two more turns to measured roads and we can start to build, start to roll out metal roads across Italy. Since you know is not a problem, especially as their towns aren't growing, so they're not growing, not going to develop a port. You could be a concern. So what have you got? You've got one 24 pounder. You got two 24 pounders. Lots of Janissaries. Melee attack 12 and 13. Mm. Let's head in turn and see what they do. The Ottomans have been pushing and they've been retreating for a while now on that front. So... Mm. There comes the Ottoman fleet. I mean, I'm going to try and auto that to see if I can kill it. I want to try it, see if I could get, see if I could destroy them before they get to my fort. But now they've not my fort before they get to my port. But now they are going to successfully raid it. Hmm. Maybe I might build walls to the to the west and push on the Ottomans because they certainly do want to cause some problems for me. I don't like where this is going. Actually, I think... Do they just attack Morocco? Damn audio problems. So they still blockade all of our ports and we are quite badly in debt. So let's just send our fleet around to hoover up their ships and also take them into our service. Let's boot them out. Get you guys back to Syracuse for resupply. 
can't afford to rebuild. Yeah, lots of ports have been blockaded. Officially bankrupt, but now we're slightly positive. Um, actually, it might be worth cancelling building the school to rebuild the port. And also... Rebuilding my fleet. Okay, let's see if I can actually get... To be honest, the French haven't attacked me in a, in a very long time. I know they have an army here. But it would be tempting to save up for a few turns, fortify Savoy with a bare bones army, and then fire these guys east to maybe hit Patras and then Athens and start to open up the front against Greece. Not Greece. Uh, the Ottomans. It's probably what I'm going to do. France hasn't really been causing me that much bother compared to the Ottomans. Here comes an actual fleet. But it looks like they're not going for me. Okay, it looks like their intent is to actually make a concise naval campaign against me. So I wonder if... Oh, the Barbaries were going to go. Oh no wait, they're protectorates of the Barbaries. Well, they're protectorates of the Ottomans. Hmm. Got a gentleman in Naples, so let's send him up to Verona. So we've got measuring tools. Still suffering from poor income. That's a fifth rate. That's a Jebek. Just go take him out. Sunk and sunk. Let's get all you guys back to port. Engage in a little naval raiding of our own. Red Pylos, come back. Red Ragusa, come back. Let's march this, mar let's march this army out if we can, and we just about can. See if we can induce them to attack us. So we've got our workshop. Gonna be back on a four thousand a turn. Let's bring you back to Nice. Okay, so I really think it might be. I don't want to exempt you from taxes, but the sooner I can get another army doing something useful, the better. Because none of these guys have walls, so I might... Okay, leave these guys in. Try and get past the first, the next three turns as quickly as possible. Get walls building around Turin. So at least I've got a fortified position somewhere in western Italy. Oh, looks like they're trying to come down from the north. French agent has been spotted. He's trying to assassinate my gentleman. Or do I just send both my armies east and just try and bust through their front line? Or do we open up a second flank and take Cairo and start pushing up through the Middle East? Okay, don't keep building. I meant to pick you to research something different. Probably naval shore facilities to start to try and develop a navy or a better navy. It's actually quite a good rake. He could do a lot of damage. 
recruit one new fifth rate. You raid Pylos. Raid. No. Okay, you blockaded it, but I don't want you to raid it. Raid Heracleon. Can you get Rag Ragusa? You can't do that and get all the way back. So let's dispatch Zhevak to go and occupy Toronto. Okie dokie. So let's keep... Keep trying not to spend money. Although I didn't respond to those Ottoman stacks coming down from the north. Good. The French are moving back. I'm fairly sure the Ottomans can't get anywhere dang too dangerous. That's not good. Ah, they're going to go and see how many ships this guy can sink. No, oh, they just sank my fleet. We definitely, definitely, definitely need to grow our naval strength because right now we are. But then again, we've not got, really got the economy to do too much. But we definitely need to grow our naval power. At least grow it to a to a strength that we currently, which, which we would currently like to have. It is tempting to send an army down to Cairo, because then I've opened up a brand new front against them. Or do I attack somewhere like Athens, where I've got somewhere a bit closer? So I keep I've not se separated my armies too much in distance. Okay, so we've got improved grenades. You do need to just kind of stick around here to make sure these guys don't break in. Fleet destroyed. It's not really a fleet destroyed. It's more of a... A Jebek destroyed. Okay, so next turn I should be able to build roads. I build walls in Turin. Come on, peace and trade. Peace, trade, and alliance. Yeah, I wish I could assassinate their agent. Especially to steal or to erode my technology advantage but we will soon see it would be nice to secure the islands, islands in the Mediterranean as well but to be honest the Ottomans are causing enough of a problem that I can't I need to engage them And the pirates are going to be pirates. And I have no involvement in that part of the world. Settlement fortifications. Perfect. This army can move out. Yes, they can. Minus two, so that'd be a bit grumpy. I think I marched them down to Toronto. And let's start to preemptively build up a small garrison. Turin. Fleet is growing again. Let's build a build a brig here to hold Toronto. So this Zebek can at least come back and actually fight with the rest of my army. My cavalry can go back and reform. Because these guys can move south and then yeah, if I hit Patras and Athens, that starts to create problems for them. You know, they have to respond. They'll have to move armies south in order to try and stop me. 
And I'm a bit anxious about pushing up into Central Europe um, because I suddenly start to open up lots of borders with other smaller nations. Damn, just a little bit closer. I could break your army against the walls of Venice. Then if I take Greece, I can actually move my fort, move my fleet east, base it at Athens, and actually gain a significant control over their trade trade lanes. That would be quite a good advantage. Although I'm actually slightly concerned, I don't know if this recording is actually picking up the game audio for whatever reason. Just one second guys, I'm going to go check. No, oh, it seems to be picking it up even if my little levels screen doesn't show it. Okay, can we upgrade this dockyard unlocked? Fourth rate, it does unlock fourth rate. Good. Let's add another unit onto the garrison to the east. Let's move you down. Naples has developed, has grown. Uh, Potenza has grown. You're probably going to be a. potentially a religious building to start trying to spawn priests. So I'm going to need them over here. It's not necessarily optimal, I don't think, to have them in a territory that's 100% Catholic, but there's not a lot really I can do about that. Because I am just going to need more priests. Yeah, they're on strike and Savoy, but now they're okay. Okay, I'd rather not attack you yet. The Ottomans are getting some... Oh, it's because it's a trade... It's a trade lane with the French. There we go. Let's draw a bit of economy, a bit of cash from them. Let's take our brig and go raid Pylos again. Terracleon. And get them back to Taranto. This Jebek. Can go back and raid. Oh no, they both came. Okay, move back. Okay, you actually might go back to Syracuse though, because I don't want to risk them too much. So when my army's in position, they're going to go sail over. Take first. Oh. I mean. I mean, I have to respond to that. I can't just let them see. This is what I mean by as much as the French weren't... Why did you not give me an option to intercept? Um, as much as the French aren't a main enemy, as you can see, they're doing enough to draw my attention away. So I'm going to still keep growing my garrison in Turin. But I've got too many enemies in too many places. And I don't want to reduce the, ga the garrison in Venice to make up for it, because as you can see they are actually facing a two Ottoman stacks. So let's just hope they are a, very depleted, and B, they're actually going to sit in Marseille like that last stack did. Florence has grown. I think I'm probably just going to go with a another industry building to try and get my get my economy growing more. I mean, yeah, I want you to attack. I'm going to keep this school the way it is. I'm probably going to keep doing this. Embark you guys onto the ships. And sail to Patras. Disembark. 
with my navy. Well, we move my brig back to Toronto. Mr. Chavisi, move on and take Petras, which is not being developed, and then go on and besiege the Ottomans. I'm going to turn this into a church school. Okay, I might actually recruit some infantry in Genoa just to help round them out, because we've got two turns till they get two turns till they get um, their walls, and then I feel a lot more secure. If they move east, we might have a problem. Good. I don't want to trouble you, France. You don't need to trouble me. We are all okay. Yeah, you're starting to realise the trouble you're in. Ah, oh, they're going to move. <sighs> oh, big siege defence. They've not got much in the way of... They've got four units, three units of artillery, so that's pretty good, but not not fast, not, not, um, not fantastic. Let's do this. I think I'm getting sufficiently jittery about the need to maximise the power of my armies to now rush Florence down to to get quick line. The enemy will try to smash that. I keep meaning game settings advice. Good. So everyone get back. I'm gonna keep my cavalry outside the walls so I can do something try and do things sneaky. My general obviously stays inside. Standard routine, deploying my troops up on the walls, ready to respond. Drop a couple of units of marines on the walls. Left with three units of artillery that can just stand by for now. And let's start to blockade because they do they do have cavalry so let's start to block off their freedom of movement I might actually move you guys over here so this unit of marines can drop in a cavalry barricade These guys can drop in a defensive position here. Good. Setting your troops to fire at. Let's just get a unit up on this wall right here. Move my bodyguard. Let's drop. Back to back is going to end up being the, the order of the day. So the reinforcements coming in from directly behind them, which is good. I'm going to speed up time a bit because right now nothing's really happening. So they are starting to make their breach here in this corner. Which is good, because we can drop a... Oh wow, a miss actually hit one of my artillery teams. Let's put a unit of marines inside this building, because we know how the AI likes to attack the same positions over and over again. I'm doing a bit of counter-battery, but not enough. If I had howitzers, I'd be so destroying all this cavalry. Yeah, right now I just want to speed up time, because right now... Okay. You guys take position here on this section. There we go. So we've got some Janissaries that are actually moving in. Sound bug. Come on, Marines. Just a bit 
too big. Okay, actually, let's do this. If they're not going to be coming in through this section behind us, we're probably going to want something like this instead. So, not bad. The Janissaries. The Warband is enough to get. Very poorly. Guys, finally opening up. Good. So you've shattered their Janissaries. This Isarelli unit is also shattered. This Warband unit is also shattered. Let's pull these, let's just put these Marines here. Actually, they don't need to run. Good. The first wave is being repulsed. Actually, was oops, uh, less than ideal. We're going to make their first. Oh no, they're wavering. Please run. Thankfully, they can't make up their mind where they want to attack. So their artillery seems to have changed their minds on who they want to target. Good, they're routing. Good, their attack has been repulsed. They've got so much cavalry on the field, they can't do many massed assaults the way they would like. No, their artillery's bugged. They've got one gun, but he's stuck reloading. Perfect. <laughs> okay, this is going to go a lot faster than we thought. Because my guys... Granted, there are just a handful of artillery pieces on the walls here. But they can still fire. All these grenadiers are firing. Cavalry is moving up. One poor unit of Azars is trying to advance, but they are very, very squishy. So we're engaging their cavalry, which they're just sending in for the slaughter. Our artillery is firing at their artillery and doing a fairly good job at counter battery. Although it looks like they've made their mind up and they want to try again. But that's good for us, because it allows us to funnel their cavalry into this beast of a killing zone. So let's put us on two times speed. So we're going to start knocking out this Zaman, Zaman, Zamindari horseman unit. The first Orta are advancing back towards the front lines. Although they are being engaged by all of my men on the walls and pushed back. Yeah, it looks like the AI is kind of not sure what to do. They're bringing in more infantry now. And these are Felian Musketeers and more Janissary Grenadiers and Muslims. So they're not going to be that useful. This cover unit is going to get shot to bits from the wall. Yeah, there it goes. This Janus is going to get engaged by my units on the walls, and they have. Well, are they actually going to climb up the walls? Form your position again because you should be able to kill loads of those guys. Because they aren't really climbing up the wall. Fire wall off, fire wall off. 
Let's just make them change position and fire it on again. Good. Bore fire into that unit of Janissaries that decided not to advance and instead stand in position at the foot of the wall. So the artillery is making progress, they're about halfway. But the fact of the matter is, they're wasting their infantry units on us at a time where they need them later for the breach. Because advancing in just in cavalry formation is not going to cut it. And these poor souls. It's Muslim. They're going to get shot to bits by my men on the walls any day now. Any day now. There we go. So they do have fireback rank. That's a good piece of knowledge to have. My marines have decided to stop getting into position. So I want these guys to open up. Let's push back another cavalry unit. Then there's this lovely pike target. Go on, you guys. You should be engaging these pikemen. So it looks like they're massing their forces back here. Their artillery is going to be able to make the the breach they so clearly want. Only 73% to go. I'm going to keep my men here just as bait to ensure they do keep actually hitting this section of the wall so they don't change their aim. Hey, we killed the general. Somewhere in this big blob of men. That's asking for quick line. But I really want them to make this breach. A, because it makes subsequent sieges that much easier to defend against. So it's 86. Come on. Okay. Let's get him out of here. Yeah, two cannons that are still firing up into this block. No, see they do have they have decided to change targets. So let's see if I can do this. I might have to sacrifice this unit to keep them shooting in this section of the wall, maybe. Okay, let's... Let's get you guys back off the wall. Because you're going to get fired upon by my artillery, and then very quickly my units are going to take up positions again. I need one hit. Granted, it's a bit of a dodgy target. We got the barricades. You got the. Actually, you might even be better off to do something like that. No, a bit too far. Something a bit lower. Because they are coming in again with the unit of grenadiers, but they're being repulsed.
another one of those and you'll another one of those and you'll be it. I'm destroying my own armory, but I'm not gonna garrison anyway. Not in this fight, I just need my artillery to do work. There we go. So they have their way in. And this artillery unit, I'm actually saying, can they... Based on them lobbing shells over there, they'll, they'll destroy the armoury, but... Too bad. Here we go, is their first unit to enter the maelstrom. <laughs> oh no, they didn't get there in time. It looks like they are in, they are keen to make two breaches. Nope, they are sending more troops in. See if I quick line more, or at least a how so to keep dropping round shots into here, that'd be great. I do have like, this unit of infantry dropping cannon rounds in, which is still good. No, oh, they actually did try and Janissaries did try and enter the fort. Two unit more units of grenadiers, although one of them looks like they want to. Here they come. Just shit, they're just firing. They're not firing by rank. And these guys are taking musket damage. My marines are excellent shots, so that's probably not going to be a great position for you. Come on, I want to see that mass cavalry charge. That's what I want to see. Oh, I do have this unit of infantry down here. To be honest, it looks like they're not they haven't really got it in them to prosecute this attack. So let's deploy a bit of bait. Can I get them to move? Just the general's bodyguard is coming. All you guys fire will off. Because mainly I'm not looking at my my cavalry to do the job. The misses are still hitting my artillery. I want to do. My guys are wavering because they're being shot at. Come on. Silly cavalry. Push back their bodyguard. Okay. I think this is going to be a silly battle because it looks like they don't really have the stones for an engagement like this. So that my guys just fire pull rank after rank of fire into the Janissaries. Let's 
silly, pro silly Ottomans. I mean, the cavalry's moving around like mad. I mean, maybe if I move these guys off, they might decide, eh, we sh there's no one to shoot at now, guys, let's go in. My cavalry back here is very upset. What do they shoot at now if I don't give them any targets? I think they're still aiming for this artillery unit. Hmm. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut the recording because this seems to be pretty lame. So just one second. There we go, guys. Just another pretty bland. <laughs> because they didn't want to send any of their troops in to attack me, so they lost four, almost 5,000 men, and I lost 500. Good job, Ottomans. Another few more like that, and you'll definitely be winning the war. But it's not going to stop our advance south. I mean, I'm not going to attack them yet. I'm going to want to draw them into the battle against Patras. Come on, Russia, you should be fighting against the Ottomans too. It's too bad I can't call anyone into the war in this game. I have to just... Um, like, it, like in Napoleon, that was really good. I can call people in to join me in my wars. But and you can't do that in this game, which is kind of lame. Same with alliances. Like if, if, if someone's already at war and you become allied to one of the parties, you don't get involved in the war. So, I always thought that was kind of a bit, not silly exactly, but just not, yeah, just not, it's not, not a straight bat. Yeah, you guys have religious happiness. And I build a road in Rome. We build this army. We did lose a set of cannons because they eventually just took them down. Great Arsenal gets us how it says when we've researched explosive shells. This guy's gone on an absolute tear on researching military naval on researching naval tech, so I'm actually gonna switch him back to doing industrial techs. There we go. I have a garrison force for cheering grows. <laughs> Yeah, it's just auto that. We lost 300 men. Good. Not a terrible amount. So let's destroy the magistrate. Because I want to replace it with my own buildings. Then we're going to build up Batras. Immediately it starts growing. Rather than shrinking. Then we want to march on, take Athens. And we also want to turn... We don't want to turn Piraeus into a military port, but we want to base our fleet here so we can intercede Ottoman trade very effectively. And I may build, give this army an artillery piece, slowly start to build up a garrison, they may end up actually pushing east to take advantage of the chaos we've now caused because they have, the Ottomans have a serious problem on multiple fronts now. And they also need to build the Admiralty building in Venable Tex. We are... I would like a heavier fleet. Granted, I need the economy to have a heavier, heavier fleet. Yeah, they're starting to build out the Athens garrison. <laughs> Too bad I haven't got any rakes to assassinate their priest. Well, not their priest, their scholar. If anything, I'd like to build a garrison force in um, in Venice to hold off the attacks. Then I want to bring my proper army down south to instead hit um, Bosnia, Croatia, that area. So I could send my army that's going to attack Greece east and hit Istanbul. Because that would really cause them some problems. Okay, 
firstly upgrade naval board naval board which is an expensive upgrade let's upgrade the weaver's cottage actually no not yet i need to do some stuff down here build some vineyards let's build a magistrate let's build a farm let's build a church school so I mean, it's already replenishing go and we need to well they're just a water yeah that's all pretty bad tag. 500 men lost there destroy the sultan's observatory spend a bit more cash on replenishment kick their navy out and I also need to rebuild their trade port but great, we're on seven grand now. Look at the turn, because Athens is providing an extra bit of cash and all of our trade is currently uninhibited. Try and make peace with France again. Come on, France, all I want is to peace and trade out. Peace out and trade with you. Okie dokie. Naples is still growing like an absolute mother. So I want to go as much because I've got a church school here rather than a um, industry building. But if I don't get a priest in the next couple of turns, I might just destroy it and let the church school in Morea do most of the work when it comes to recruiting ministers. We are very fortunate that France has their hands full with the United Provinces. They're rebasing their fleet. Yep, you sense you sense danger. And raid away, my friends. Raid away. Cause you know trouble's coming. You know, trouble is coming big time. Barbary State's going to do what the Barbary States do, but I don't mind. Because they are not my problem. I mean, they'll be my problem if they lay siege to anyone I'm actually trading with. But apart from that, I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, except they can raid as much as they like. Let's build the trade port. Let's add in some better infrastructure in Patras. Let's knock down the Pasha's palace. These military buildings I can upgrade. Good. Spend a bit more on replenishment. I'd like you guys to get to get some artillery. You can actually recruit some decent units here. It's worth some money to the Ottomans. That's worth some money to the Ottomans. I mean, yes, please. Come in, come in and go for another attack. I'm more than happy to do that. So these guys are if we're left they'd be just about happy but yeah if i could recruit a garrison here and then bring these guys down to hit sarajevo they could hit sarajevo then belgrade these guys push up and take sofia and istanbul but that relies on me recruiting a garrison here and doing that in a economically viable way. Which remains to be seen if that's possible. But we'll see. I definitely do need to grow my navy. Yep, here comes the, not the main Ottoman army. Oh, 
they do have new model army as well. They have Royal Constantinople Infantry Guards. Damn, we lost a lot of men doing that. As is tradition, with auto-resolving small battles, the algorithm just screws you over. God, sweet, the Swedes have a good navy. But at least they too are fighting the French, I believe. So at least they're not causing me headaches. Yet. Okay, so we've got the spinning mule. I am going to upgrade this school now because it's been too long. Okay, Corin, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Okay, now you guys can spend, need to spend whatever money you can on replenishing. You need two and a half grand to replenish. It's going to take it a few turns. Fortunately, they don't have much in the way of elite infantry widespread in their troops. But anyway, soon these guys are going to grow rapidly. Larissa is here, isn't it? Yes. Come on, I want this church school to start generating priests. So don't go down the flying shuttle anymore. Go back over to... Coke Blast Furnace. Yeah, textile wealth. I've actually got a couple more. Well, it's three turns for each type of industry, and I've got a good amount of each. Iron workshops, iron workshops, weavers, weavers, iron, iron. I'm actually slightly towards iron at the minute. I'm going to knock this down to rebuild this into an industry building because they're happy enough. Now I've got a foothold on the enemy territory, I'm going to start building church schools in quite a lot of areas to start getting the conversion going. Even... you don't really need to. Usually... oh, they are sending troops south. So I might have to join that with a push up north as well. So my army to the south doesn't get completely isolated and cut off. I need to push on other fronts to maintain the pressure. And also recruit more troops. So let's get ready. Because when you fight big battles, you do need to have a pretty solid economy. Okay, so we've got explosive shells. Build the great arsenal. So we can start to keep going down this route. Verona may as well do carbines. I'd rather than do something easy and quick. Six turns is the lowest for Coke Blast Furnace. Well, I may as well go into carbines, it gets me dragoons. So you guys spend a bit more cash replenishing and recruiting a foot artillery unit from Athens. Could do with a great arsenal. Send this brig to raid the ports. think with a bit of cash we have left we have to push and we have to go and engage the Ottomans on the battlefield left behind so you've got 1700 to replenish which hopefully to fall back we can okay cloudy battlefield put my guns up here Line infantry center. It's slightly heavy on the elite infantry on the right flank. Pick 
the rest infantry on the left because I want I do like having this big line because it allows me to envelop their position give them something to think about immediately. That shows did a great job against their artillery. So we've got this regiment of horse ready to engage their janissaries. You guys may as well run. Run my cavalry and just smash into this unit of Muslim so they don't hold up my attack. Square formations. Walk these guys because I don't want them to get involved in this fight. Although if I don't, they're just going to shoot it. up something like, well not run them, walk them up something like this. So the cavalry didn't charge in, which is a bit of a bummer. I'll run these guys back. battle. The cavalry's looking a bit outnumbered. We target one of my units of guns to pound the cavalry unit. You go after the howitzers. Actually one of them needs to start picking at these units of infantry.
good. The Zimandari horsemen are starting to die. Ah. Understandable. The Mamelukes returned from combat. Let's get these marines into the fight and let's get. these guys to push up. Also, these guys push up rapidly. Make sure you're on guard mode. Understandably, my cavalry is upset. Horseman unit. Both of you guys form squares. The general's been killed. The tune on the right has been destroyed. This Zimdari Horseman unit's been destroyed, so let's push up. Our line up into the trees. He doesn't form squares, so this cavalry should be drawn in like iron filings. You men, reload as quickly as possible. Oh, uh, Janus, they're going to go try and engage my cavalry. That's okay. You guys charge into the Azars. Everyone advance up. You guys go and engage in this cavalry fight. Let's target the artillery to focus the core of their infantry. guns. Hit the 12th Order here. One of you hit the Janissary unit here. Artillery focus on the 12th. Let's now nail my general along quickly. I oh, know they may as well keep fighting this Janissary unit because this one's spread out, so that'll be fun to try and defeat. This side of the mound. These guys are okay. Sit here and shoot at them. Which 
charge straight on into that Janus unit before they reform. Come on, General's bodyguard. And this cover unit too. At this point, my cavalry are now too precious to waste engaging engaging routing troops, engaging um, steady, steady troops. They're much better off chasing down their routing troops. Hunting down Janissaries. That's where their main value will be. Because this battle's been absolutely continued. This battle's been a lot. A lot more of a grind than anticipated. One of you go after them, the other one go after some of these gun teams. You've got two guys to kill. So please kill them. These hussars have stopped. Keep going. Oh, the only ones left of them, but they are routed. Just my general left. He's doing an alright job against these guys. Close victory. It was a lot more of a smash fest than I would have anticipated and would have liked. Yeah, we lost a third of our army, but they lost two thirds of theirs, and roughly. E -marcha. Sink in some money to reinforce. Sweet. Let's hit and turn. Let's see what happens. So the Brits are moving around. That's okay. Damn. So the Ottomans have sent most of their forces then um, south. They really did not like me taking Greece. So let's pull back and get into a defensive position. Maybe I should spend some money on upgrading um, Athens with walls. That probably would have been a good idea. I'm going to secure the position. So there's an Ottoman army. Which build couple of units here as a good of a garrison. You guys keep get on the replenishment money. You guys push up towards Vienna. You may as well put Vienna under threat. May as well. You guys fall back. Unfortunately there's no bridges. They're replenishing like mad. So what have you got? Nah, it's not a good army. I think the the answer is to hold, not spend any money, and get walls on Greece in Greece on the go. Because right now we need cash. So let's hit one more in turn. Oh, the Brits are going to go clearing out the Barbary States. Good. I suspect they'll engage us near Athens. 
Yep, yeah, they've gone and re... They've uh, decided to turtle in Vienna. Opportunity to intercept. I want to say no. No, once more. Oh, oh God. So, <laughs> um, I was expecting them to stop just short of me. I wasn't expecting them to run up next to Athens and then fall back. That was, that was a bit scary. Okie dokie. States once more. It is much better when the Barbary states start to be eliminated because for such a small nation and such an inconsequential and irritating nation, they don't their turns don't have to take a long time. Poland's declared war on me. And Russia's joined them. Jesus. Okay. Come on, Russia, let's... Yeah, okay. 2,600 to not have another enemy and also to recontinue re $1,200 a turn of trade. Yeah, we did lose out on being able to build walls, but... Got to spend money to make money. So that makes this whole area up here pretty useless to fight in, because I'm against... I really want to be pushing towards here. Or even just declare on the Cherokee. No, they're allied with the Dutch. Avanti, I want to try and... I want to group my armies together. I don't... If I take Venice, then... That exposes me to being attacked from Prague. Breslau with the Poles. Hey, a new national leader. And he's really good. If this nation disputes your claim to the throne, you have no choice but to fight for your birthright. Oh, because of this guy. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> um, okay, how odd. Oh yeah, we're not on this list because we're not a major faction. So I'll get you to Weaver's workshop. I want to be very careful. I want to be very careful how I spend this money because I'm going to want to spend it such that I've got enough to build walls next turn. I think that's going to be it. So one more in turn. I want to get walls built, then this part's done. Because I'm way over. I think. I've had a few cuts, so... No, I'm pretty sure I'm over with that battle. With this part of the siege. Opportunity to intercept. No. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. That's really dumb. A. I can't believe I did it again. I expected them to do what I expected them to do before. <laughs> and uh, B, they didn't attack Greece. Which is really weird. But if I get walls built, it means I can break their forces. And granted, while Serbia is not a wealthy country, it's at least just across the Adriatic. I think it's the Adriatic from me. So it's easier if something goes wrong to pull them out. Or if... I need to support with more troops. It's easier to just funnel them in. Walls. Good. You may as well sit in the city for now. Don't really want, don't want Belgrade. Just take Sarajevo. Take Sarajevo and push back out. There we go. Okie dokie. So I'm definitely going to the part here because I'm well over. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Italian states.
Cheers, everyone.